Here, I'll show you how to put multiple sum functions within one max function. And this is really just nesting functions within Excel. The benefit of this is that we can do relatively complex calculations within one cell, as opposed to having multiple cells within the worksheet that contain data that works up to that final result. So here, I'm just going to do a sum of this set of numbers, this set of numbers, and see which one is greater. Now this is a very simple example that I'm using just to show you how you can nest functions. But you can do this with considerably more complicated functions, such as another tutorial where I show you how to nest one VLOOKUP function into another VLOOKUP function. So here I've got the functions we're going to be using. This is the max function with its arguments, one sum function, and another sum function. Now for all three of these functions, you can have a number of arguments. You can have one, two, three, four, you can have many different ones. That's why the three dots is at the end of the max function. And it's actually the same for the sum function as well. That's because you could do a max of one number, two numbers, three numbers, and so on. Now if we were going to do a max to see which number or set of numbers is greater, what we could do is equals sum select the data equals sum select the data and then up here we could do the max function equals max and select the result of the sum functions so we can see that 26 is higher than 20 well now what I'm going to show you how to do is to put the sum function into the max function so all that you really have to do is put this sum function in place of number one, so the argument for number one, and the second sum function in place of the argument for number two. So now let's delete these, and it goes equals max. Now instead of selecting a number, we're going to nest the sum function in here for this argument. So we start typing sum. Notice we get a list of arguments just like we did for when we typed in equals max. Let's sum the first set of numbers. Now it's very important to make sure that you close the parentheses. That will take you out of the sum function and back into the max function. Now we hit comma to go to the second argument in the max function. Start typing sum and select the set of numbers right here. Remember, close the parentheses for the sum function. That puts us back in the max function. And now, since we're done with the max function, close the parentheses for the max function. Hit enter, and we get the same result, 26. This time, however, we did everything in the same cell. Now if I typed it out, this is what it would look like. So all we did was to take three functions and put them into one formula. So in Excel, you can put any function within another function. All you have to do is to start typing the name of that function within the initial function. That's all. It's really easy to do. The one drawback to doing this is that it can get confusing. So if you have a lot of functions nested within each other, if you come back to that function in a week or say a month, you may not be exactly sure how it works or how it gets the result that it gets. And if you run into that problem, what I suggest is to just pull pieces of the functions out. So what you can do is like we first did, we put a sum function here, a sum function here, and the max function here and then we put the sum functions into the max function. So if you create the individual parts of the nested formula separately, then combine them, it may help you keep track of what everything's doing. And that'll also help you to troubleshoot any errors that come up. Now for this example, that's obviously not necessary because it's pretty easy to do. The only thing I would say to remember is that when you put your functions within other functions, don't forget the closing parentheses. So for your interior functions, you do need to close them before you move on to another argument in the original or outermost function. 
But really that's all there is to combining multiple functions into the same formula or just nesting functions in Excel.